So shoulders kind of go through at an angle. <laughs> I can't take these kids anywhere. This is whack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Before it's all gone. Oh, feel the love. Oh, the good. Oh, the bad. Oh, the happy. And the sad. Take it. Take it. Welcome to the vlog. Today, we're in the sanctuary and we're doing some pretty cool stuff. Basically, we have nine vocals and everyone by part, so soprano, alto, tenor, shares a mix. So altos are hearing all three the same mix. The three sopranos are hearing the same mix and then the two tenors are hearing the same mix and then the lead gets their own mix. So um, essentially, I get my own mix because I bought my pack outright. I was like, I don't want to share a mix with anyone. I knew that going right into it. No one else had experienced in ears but me. And I was like, I don't want to be sharing that with anybody. So I um, went ahead and paid for mine. Well, just over time, um, it's hard to share a mix. You're like, no professional would do that. So you're asking unprofessional singers to do something that professional singers would never even do. Sound is subjective. Every person has a different taste. Then on top of that, every person has a different set of in-ear monitors, which give different qualities of sound. So when you ask three different people with three different voices, with three different preferences, with three different in-ears to share a mix, there can be a lot of, um, I don't agree, I don't agree. And it's not that any one person is right or wrong. It's just that everyone is experiencing it differently. So what we're doing today is we're splitting out those mixes. We bought some more equipment and now every single singer is going to have their own mix. That just requires a lot of thinking on my part of creating those mixes and that's nine separate mixes. So that's what we got to do today. So we're going to open up a little bit of gear. We're going to run some cables and we're going to get it all set up. First things first is back here. This is our soundboard. I've got to basically uh, run a few things. I've done some of the preliminary work kind of inside the board and then now we got to start running a bunch of cables and wires. I just got it all hooked up um, and then I got to program it so that it is on the right frequency. We use something called Sure Wireless Workbench. Basically what this lets us do is see all of the devices we have and it gives us the best frequency to set those to that won't mess with each other. So we just plug in all the things we have and then boom, it'll tell us what we need to set. So I'm just going to add in my stuff. And the cool thing about this is even though it's Sure, it allows you to choose from all of these different manufacturers it don't just let you choose sure devices so our in-ears are sennheiser so it still lets us choose the sennheisers when you're doing a bunch of work at your church on sound it's not really all that scary there's a lot of videos online that teach you how to do it which is exactly how i've learned to do it but my biggest tip my biggest recommendation is have a notebook and write everything down your brain will lie to you and be like you're gonna remember where you put that in you will not remember you will never remember so write it all down once you add those then you can ask it to calculate new frequencies and you'll see everything turn green that means your everything's on a good frequency we're going to say assign and deploy if each of my devices my transmitters were ran over ethernet into our network i could click assign and deploy and it would automatically do this for me we're not set up that way so i do have to do it manually which is kind of a bummer but it's still a very nice program to have now i can look here and see all of my frequencies now everything on here on my page is correctly labeled correctly given the right frequency all I'm gonna do is set each of the devices to these frequencies and we'll be good to go. Here's 
the big scary rack room. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on back here. Everything reassigned. I do have to sync the receivers to the transmitters, but I've done pretty much everything else. Okay, so I got all these synced. Now I'm gonna sync all of the packs and then I can start building the mixes inside here. Remember when I said it's important to write everything down? It just came in to play because I put the wrong frequency and I was quickly able to look and be like, oh, that's not the right frequency for that pack and fixed it in like two seconds versus spending hours trying to reconfigure so write everything down now i am routing the packs through our board and we have everything on an aes 50 back here in our rack these open inputs right here are about to all get routed um to the packs success all done. Now we're gonna start building mixes, which is probably one of the most complicated parts. Well, nine individual mixes, um, that's a lot. Um, that'll probably take the bulk of my, the rest of my time. I have like an hour left here at work. Um, and we have rehearsals tonight where we'll really dial in because I can only mix so much before it gets down to like personal preference type things, like I said before. <laughs> Avery and Agnes over Naya and Noah being chaperones. So we brought Silas to Walgreens to look for snacks. And he's in awe of how many snacks are here. Oh, Clark. Snackies. Snackies. Lots of snackies. But it's still pink. <laughs> Make a double move. What did he say? That chicken. I want that chicken. You want that chicken. Why are they $5.99? <laughs> Is that what you want? Let's go pay for them. Today I'm in my work clothes because I gotta crawl under the stage. That's nasty, cold, sometimes wet, especially if you flood it. Watch this video if you don't know what I'm talking about. Obviously, I need to start with coffee. I must, must start with coffee. Another thing I have to get done today is to change this menu. We've been on this uh, Valentine's thing a little too long. So someone came right now to get a coffee while I was working on the menu, but I got the menu done. Looks good. And so now I'm about to go crawl under the stage. All right. Basically, I have this ethernet cable. I need it to run from this thing in that hole under the stage and up through a hole in the stage. So I just realized I have no idea which one of these four is the correct one to replace. So I'm gonna have to like unplug them one by one and go check the boxes out there and see which one shut off. I'm gonna feed this in through this hole. Then I'm gonna crawl around and find this and pull it through. I'd like to point out that this is usually way easier with a second person to be under there and feed the cords through. But here we are. I'm pretty sure Brother Jason is praying right above me in the drum pit. in the drum pit which is exactly where i have to crawl under i'm not doing that i'm gonna let him finish praying just walking past the door and she's back she back and acting whack where you going quack hey <laughs> so uh whenever i do anything like this during the day i get interrupted a lot because um people come to pray which we're a praying church fantastic 
Um, it's not a problem at all, but I do have to put a little sign up saying that I'm working in the sanctuary. And what I do is I unlock some prayer rooms. Some people still come in the sanctuary and pray, but I just don't want to have to start and stop or it's going to take me like triple the time that it should take me to get all this done. I do have to get this done um, and I have a limited time. So, all right, now we should be good to go. All right, first things first, we got to get these boxes out of the way. I have to fit through that hole. I'm not a big boy anymore, but here we go. Ooh. And then this thing is kind of right in the way. i put this down. One arm through. I'm gonna turn this around so it can be entertaining. So shoulders kind of go through at an angle. <laughs> All right, waist is through. I have a tiny waist, actually. Just my shoulders, I guess, are kind of bigger. Um, and. As Jen says, I don't have a butt, so. You just have to kind of like do a continuous plank. And that's honestly what hurts. Oh, hips gotta go sideways. But they're through. All right. Now, where I need to get to is all the way over there. And then I need to bring it up over here, over there, where those wires are going up. Okay. Now it's just about finding the right cable coming through. <laughs> we got that done. I'm very nasty, which is why I brought a change of clothes for today. Um, now we gotta get back out that tiny little hole the things I allow you to see for content. This part of the stage is actually better because you can actually crawl. The other one is too low to crawl. So you have to do like an army crawl. This is why I brought a change of clothes for today. Because I am now disgusted. Before I do change, I am just gonna make sure that this came up in the right hole. It should be under this. There she is. And here we have our cable. Now I'm gonna go change before I make a huge mess all over the platform. All better. Next order of business. Get that over there, moved over here, set up for the bass player, and then start working on the mixes. I recorded last night so that I can play it back through the sound system as if my singers were still here and I can really dial in on all their notes. Also important note, I scheduled the same team except for one person for Sunday so that we can further dial in those mixes. So I just went in the back and I was like, I feel like it's two and I unplugged two. Boom, it was two. See, I got it like that. I got it like that. Um, so I did it without having to run back and forth. Now I can switch this over here and plug it into the new one. So today is Sunday. I am in my office. We're in the middle of church right now. I have somehow <laughs> hurt myself. I thought when I started, I thought it was, um, I thought maybe I had tossed a rib out. <laughs> socket or something and then i thought maybe i pulled my back out a muscle in my back or something i went to urgent care because it got worse and worse and worse on saturday and they were like you need to go to the er you need to get imaging like this is possibly worse issue i didn't go because i'm an idiot i should have went i knew i had to leave worship today so i came to church anyway i led worship through the pain it feels like something inside me is 
but it, honestly, it feels like I have a, a knife in my back. Maybe, maybe like kidney stones or something. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I know that it's not um, a pulled muscle. I don't, I don't think it's a pulled muscle. This is not a pulled muscle type feeling. I've had lots of those. Um, I've never had a pain like this. So I have to preach tonight. I'm gonna go do that, and then I am going to the ER. <laughs> what if it's stress induced? So I'm finally in the back. They've done a CT. They drew blood and an urine sample. And now I'm just waiting, I guess. So the doctor just came in and said they got all my results back. And they do not have kidney stones. Which is good, I guess. But they don't know what the problem is. <laughs> so, I don't know. Okay, so it's the next day. Uh, I feel half better. Which is good. Um, I actually got some sleep. It still hurts. Juicy peach. This is the best one. Okay. I wasn't talking. <laughs> um, I feel better. So you don't love me? But not all the way. It still hurts. So basically. All flavors of Cheetos, including Flaming Hot Cheetos, are naturally gluten free. Whatever. Uh, you keep your hand on me. Okay. So here's what happened. Basically, they said I could have passed a kidney stone, but that there was no active kidney stones moving. I had kidney stones in my kidneys, but that's common that they just sit there. There was none moving, but they said basically there was no issues inside. So I'm going to go to the chiropractor today and see if maybe I have a rib out of place or something. I don't know. But first, the boys need Easter shoes. I need Easter shoes. Jen needs Easter shoes. Naya needs. I don't know. Naya broke. No, she's not. Until tomorrow. Phyla broke. The whippy. The whippy. Whippy took me out, Naya. Why did you not edit out the rest of that jump? Because I was trying to show my real, actual life There's on a no Sunday. Up. And that is actually it wasn't him. what it's like on a Sunday. Every two seconds, there's a knock on my office door and someone needs something, which it's fine. I get it. I work there, but I'm just saying. I left that in because it's the reality. What am I doing? Brandy. Brandy. Good job, Brandy. That's what I'm my saying. sister, I don't think she watches this vlog. But they teach the youth class and she makes like a fresh baked good for their class every Sunday. Their class is right across the hall from my office and we get the leftovers. And this Sunday it was chocolate chip cookies, chocolate bit bookie, and it was good. Mr. Fuentes, leave me alone. <laughs> You're blocked. Uh, You've been marked. Ari Araya was the one that we couldn't remember in the vlog. They don't even start with N anymore. No, neither do you. What? I don't know, I don't know. We have the Chick fil A. Silas is tore up because he has to eat before he goes on the playground. That's the kid that was from Oh, it is. What? That little boy uh, in the picture looks like Silas. Are you gonna be okay? I'm okay. He just ran in the playland. There he is. Just bad. And he's gonna get scared too. He probably will. Probably will. This is the closest mall to us and it's it's not great, but it's gonna do today to find some shoes. Because of my health issues, I didn't have coffee yesterday at all, or any caffeine, and I didn't have, I only had one coffee early Saturday morning before all this started, so my first order of business is to find coffee. I can't take these kids anywhere. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. You did it. <laughs> All right, run one more time. I'm at the Barnes and Noble. 
cafe that serves Starbucks. It's not a Starbucks, but they serve Starbucks, so it's gonna work. So I got the new lavender oat milk latte. I don't know how I feel about it. It tastes like lavender smells. My official thoughts. It tastes like a butt. I'm going to the chiropractor, see if my issue is a rib out of place or who knows. So did we find everything we needed? No, we didn't find shoes for Avery. Did you find shoes? No. Oh, we're doing that and then we're getting some Smoothie King. This girl going to be with her man. <laughs> Good morning. Basically, guys, long story short, I did not have kidney stones. I finally made it to the chiropractor. We went Monday and they were closed when they're normally open. My doctor's on vacation and then he's having other chiropractors fill in for him. Um, made it there finally yesterday and he felt along my spine and he was like it feels like this like right here is out of place he's like above it and below it is fine he's like right here and he pushed and it was right on my pain he's like i'm gonna pop it back in and he pushed so hard it hurt so bad he pushed it and it popped and i guess my rib was out of joint. I don't really know enough about this stuff to, to say one way or the other. It could be a combination of a few things. Needless to say, I'm feeling better. Um, and yeah, we're gonna make it. I'm headed to Lowe's right now to buy some lumber um, and some plants because it's Easter week and we have all kinds of Easter prep. This morning I woke up at like 5.55, wide awake, ready to go ready to put my mind to this week and tackle it with everything within me. I made a massive list of everything that I need to finish this week and I am ready to go. Um, it's like 6.42 right now. I got up and I cleaned up a little bit because the house was a little bit of a wreck and I don't want to, I don't want Jen to wake up to that. So I cleaned up a little bit and then um, I'm headed here now. Whoa. Whoa. This giant, you can see it past me, just pulled out in front of me. Headed to buy supplies for our focal point in the foyer at the church for Easter. I had this idea. We always do a photo wall, and I think maybe Jen came up with the idea. She's like, what if it was double-sided because so many people want to take pictures, and there's not really a good place to put it up against a wall. We have a big open lobby, and... Um, like just do like a really cool greenery like focal point thing and then we were talking and she's like just the basic photo wall with like greenery around it is so basic like let's elevate that and I was like okay and I had this idea for like a round photo wall thing um so we're gonna try to make this big round thing with like tons of greenery coming out the top uh the whole theme of Easter this year is death is not the end because of the song we're doing fear is not my future so like having like a whole greenery thing and yeah i don't know um we kind of had a meeting last night with college and career and we think we can we think we can put it together so that's happening tonight tonight is also media training night where we're focusing in the media team on uh shooting everything for easter and then the rest of the week is full of rehearsals um, so it's going to be a busy week, it's going to be a crazy week, it's going to be an awesome week. I'm so, so excited for Easter. It's going to be killer. I can't wait. Okay, so basically I lied because I called my dad and I was like, um, can you pick up these things for me because they're not going to fit in my car. And then he was like, there's a place right in our town that will deliver it right to the church for you. So I was like, well, we're just gonna do that. But I still have to get plants for the planters outside. So I'm still going to Lowe's for that. Kind of like these, these are full and nice. 
also considered the classic majesty palm but we've had these before and they're so temperamental these are really hardy and they would look good um i love zz plants they look great can't go wrong with snake plants peace lilies are pretty with their big white flower i kind of wanted flowers though you know it's easter i do this every year but basically my problem is i know that whatever we choose is going to die um <clears throat> and i have a hard time spending 80 on one plant or two plants when i could spend 80 on really pretty flowers that would look nice for their season and then they're done you know not gonna lie loves your prices are kind of expensive for plants see now this feels like more bang for my buck so change of plans again i called the place that my dad said would deliver for free and they wanted to charge me 50 dollars to deliver a few pieces of wood which I get, and I, I, I didn't think, sounded a little sketchy. So um, my dad is going to pick it up for me later and drop it off at the church. Um, so we'll get that still. These are gonna have to wait because it's getting cold one more time, I think, before Easter. Um, so I'm not planting them yet, but they will be planted before Easter. Okay, they're all in here. Also, I tried this today. Very good. Tastes just like a creamsicle. Amazing dreamsicle, whatever they're called. So good. Next, this angle is brought to you by my tripod. Sorry about it. Not amazing, but it was already there, so. Next, I need to go into the sanctuary and plot off where the chairs are going to be. Okay, so basically here's the plan. All the chairs up there are coming down here to this bottom floor. And then we're gonna put like folding chairs up there because we are maxed out on Sundays. Like last Sunday, me and Jen didn't have a place to sit. So yeah, it's pretty full in here. So we're gonna pull those down and then we'll put overflow seating up there. So I just gotta kind of see where the extra chairs are gonna fit here on the floor. Um, I, I think I have an idea. I think I've done this before. So I, hopefully it comes back to me. So if we bring, right now these are lined up with the doors. If we bring these in to like the mid of the door, we can add one to each, one seat to the end of each row. Same over here and these will have to come in a smidge and one on the outside of these. And then one more row in the back and that should cover all the chairs down here. But in the past, our Easter has been packed out on when we're not running as much as we normally run. Right now, Sundays we run, where this room is packed out already. So I'm expecting quite a bit. And then the balcony, we should be able to fit like another hundred up there. So we'll make it work. My next main thing that I need to get done is setting up, um, being able to record everything. Um, this computer should be able to track live and it's just been a while since I've done it. So I need to make sure that it's set up and ready to go. Make sure all the talkbacks are in everyone's ears that we're all working because we've made some major updates lately. Like the other night, someone texted me and I was like, hey, your, your click track and guide is in the live stream. And I went back and listened and sure enough, those types of things, it's just stuff. When you change things, things break, things, whatever. So got to get those things ready. Need to make sure all my screens are finished. I think they're pretty much just need to wrap all that up and make sure that everything's good okay so i've got a haircut i have got a lot done i'm changed i just shot with pastor um the kids claim to be starving so i'm going to get lunch for them but i have to grab chicken wire for this idea thing that we have you can stick florals in the chicken wire and it holds it up um so we got to go grab that we're just gonna grab lunch and keep on moving towards our Is this Jen right done. here? We'll never know. Because the camera never sees me because I'm so ugly. You're beautiful. <laughs> oh, now I feel no, 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 no. <laughs> Let's leave it on Jen. No. What are you doing, Jen? I look very red. I was just gonna say rich. No, not rich, I'm very broke. Uh, this candy's gone. Anyway, we're just gonna go get them to McDonald's. 
make them happy. I'm so excited for tonight. That's a red light. Yellow light, sorry. I couldn't count my colors apart. Red light. Look at all this money. Are we gonna talk about that? I, cause I was, I was thinking like, it's gonna go red. It's gonna go red, but it was yellow. Oh. Mommy, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this is not amazing, but this is where we're at. So I've still got a lot to get done. I'm trying to do that, but um, I'm being distracted and I need to focus. <laughs> um, but we're gonna we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Barista. Small confession: If you're gonna drink that Alani that I shared with you, do not have four shots of espresso afterwards. <laughs> I can smell color. Okay, we are at college and career night. And we're getting started on moving all the chairs. So I'm gonna pop you on a time lapse to see that happen. All right. Dizzy. I just made myself dizzy. All right, next order of business. We are. Did you get the side? Okay, I'll show you how to do that. <laughs> oh, I wasn't even. I wasn't even recording. <laughs> you just put me out of focus anyway. <laughs> Gonna get copyright strike. Hey! Okay, I gotta play. Come on, Naya. Are y'all for real right now? Playing, just Be for real. Come on, we're ready. I need y'all to get those grass rolls out of there and take them to the foyer. The grass okay. rolls. Oh, oh. What are we oh, doing? Rolls. Get these grass rolls and take them to the foyer. Is that, is Teamwork. It's that sushi roll. We got it, Haley. Come on, let's do it. We got it. All right, all right. Let's see. Let's see the technique. Yes, because I'm dirty like that. Oh. Exposed. I got. Is that good pizza, Lennox? Lennox. Lennox. You don't care about me. Okay, so we're trying to like do this droopage stuff down the, up in the air. It's it's a fabric called chiffon, um, but we cannot locate it. So we're walking over to the Family Life Center to see if we can locate it from the last event. <laughs> Let there be light. Hey. Jesus said it. You climb on top of this cool. Yeah, that might actually work. Hey, no, that's not gonna work. Winter. He's scared. He's scared. He climbed on top of the thing at the museum. I'm sorry. I said, just don't let that. <laughs> Why does she scream like that? Hey, 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 hey. Oh my God, I'm sweating. I'm acting like I didn't just have a rib out of place. What? Hmm. What'd you say? I said, this is why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought I was gonna fall. Hey. You found it? Thank you. 
This is the pulpit from Grimsby, like the church before this church. That's where wow. Pastor was his dad. Like he used to preach at this one, yeah. Wow. Found it. Yeah, bubba. Are you gonna be able to carry that down the stairs? I can help you if Winter can vlog. Winter don't. Oh don't Jesus. Vlog. Oh. <laughs> Winter, you come behind us. You gonna oh. know I carry the camera versus Gene carry the camera. Uh. Look at them working together. <laughs> she got her own narrative. Right? No. <laughs> Winter, no. This ain't heavy. Uh-uh, be for real winter. Look at this servant of the most high. Hey, what time is it? it is eight fifth eight nineteen. Yeah, we're never going home. Never. We live here. Y'all ain't going home because I'm going home to my baby. <laughs> to my love. I could have brought, brought my love to the kids. You should have. They would have loved that. Lennox would have ate that up. He would have ran all through this church. He would have too. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Chris and I. <laughs> what is she talking about? I don't know. They're probably struggling. We found it. <laughs> oh, we making progress. <laughs> This is not safe. This is not safe. This is not. Just hurry up and do whatever you're doing. Get down. Oh my god. Oh. That was crazy. That was wild. I did not approve this to happen. got most of the stuff built and then we realized that two of the green things that we were hanging are two different sizes so we're left with like a three foot gap so i think we're gonna have to kind of rebuild this whole thing and reimagine it but that's all good we can figure something out see you so basically this just has to come down three foot in circumference which i think is possible it's just annoying to have to redo but if that's what we got to do that's what we got to do Good morning. I am just finishing up my coffee for the morning. Well, making it, not drinking it. I need to start drinking it. So it is the next day. Discussions have been made about this thing. And basically what we decided is we're not going to spend more money on it by buying more material. Um, we're instead going to put a little more effort into adjusting the size down to the material we have. Um, a lot of times what happens with churches if you see something in design sets that looks a little that at times can look a little cheesy it's not about what you have because uh big churches that have huge budgets yeah they can do really cool things for a smaller church it is about being as creative as possible within limits that have been set sure we could go out and spend a ton of money and fix it instantly what could we do without spending the money and allocate that money to other projects and things that need to happen as well so if we had an infinite budget i would have minions on it and we would have new stuff and it would be covered and it would be done but um that's not the way it is and i actually did get told like if, if it's a necessity go spend the money 
but I don't want to just waste money. I try to be a good steward of my budgets and everything. And I think we can make it work within the restrictions that we have. So that's what we're going to try to do today. I need to wrap up more of my list and just get on that and make it as productive as possible tonight. Coming up, we have, um, we're kicking off Easter rehearsals for the rest of the week and it's going to be crazy from here on out. So we got to make it work. Yeah. You need my help. Yeah. Look at these gardening fairies. Hey, don't look at my hair. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so this needs to come way higher, right? This goes in here. Right? I just took it out. But this needs to come higher for the tulips. That's what I said. We may have to go get another bag. Okay. So yeah. I just... Use it. Use it what you need. And we'll go but it's a lot. Is that dirt? Select a pot, miss a drain hole. Yeah, you can go get the broom and sweep that up. Help, mommy. You're a good helper. You too. While Jen's doing that, I'm wrapping up the rest of the pre-dubs for vocals. Um, I just have one song left and I'm doing that real quick. That looks like this. So basically I'm going through and finding like right here, the sopranos held this note a little long. So, and I just had to kind of, but there's something sticking out there you can hear. And I believe it's this person, cause you can see the audio right here. So, just gonna pull that down, get rid of that. Now that should be gone. So listen. It's a new Perfect. But um, I already did that in one spot, so I already know over here it's gonna be wrong too. So I'm just gonna adjust as needed. Listen. Oh, it's a new That one tenor sounds a little long on his note right there. So it's solo tenors. Oh. It's close. Um, things like that, I can actually just pull over one and usually it don't even, you won't even hear, but it makes the difference. Oh, Hello. Okay, it's not just that he's holding it out. Um, this is Noah, by the way. It's that he, you can see on the wave file, he gets louder right here, and that's what's sticking out. So this is bigger, so he's louder, where I go quieter, and the other tenors are quiet too. So I'm just going to grab this, hey, Dad, and I'm going to pull, why? We're going with Nana. Wow. I'm going to pull the gains down, and now let's listen. That's much better. It may not sound better on there, but it, it is a big difference. So in this case, right here, the Sopranos keep their their N on the end of Horizon sticks out more than the other parts. It's a new horizon. You have that right at the end. So rather than going in and adjusting every Soprano, I'm just going to put a volume utility on the soprano track like the group of the sopranos and then i'm going to turn on the automation for it and then right here every little n i'm going to go in and pull that down now it'll pull all sopranos down all at the same time it's a new right there that's what we want that little n is sticking out and they shouldn't um so yeah quick easy fix on that little i want it there but i want it to just be a whisper of a horizon not powerful force as it was so before they have that loud n at the end now it's, it's a new horizon. and it matches the other vocal parts so my mom pulled up <clears throat> and stole my children and left so it's just me and jen um and we ran out of potting soil. Well, Jen ran out of potting soil. So we're going to get more, but I'm gonna show you what she's doing. They that look is, really good. They look so pretty. They do look good. I love the orange sticking up. Okay, so 
we had some greenery at some point and I don't know what happened to it, but it, a bunch of it is missing. And I've been going through the boxes, trying to separate out the greenery that we do have. So we gotta make this thing work. We're this far, we gotta make it happen. So whatever that takes. I see greenery in this one. This is the most <laughs> truest definition of trust the process ever. I promise I will make this beautiful somehow. Trust the process. That's what I keep telling myself. Trust the process. What do you think? Wow, so much confidence. Yeah. So uh, we got a lot done today. <clears throat> We've got rehearsals here in a minute, and Jen's in Walmart right now getting something. Okay, so vocal rehearsals just got over. I'm interested to see what's right outside these doors. Right, right, it. Yay! Rise that man. You got the dog, man. Rise that man. Don't be shy. Rise, just move your eyes. Don't be shy, put some more. We did it. Well, the boys did it. Bryce did it. Bryce did it, mostly. Come out, little boy. Mm, the Lord is watching. He's been waiting for you. The Lord is watching. <laughs> what? We need tape? Tape for what? Oh. Oh. This is sick. On each corner. Make this more outline. Are you sure? Is it those two? This is, this is gonna be so cool. And then. I said, I said, is it them two? We're the first ones in front of the photo wall. And over. And Bryce is inside the photo wall. <laughs> <laughs> Today, all of the greenery is gonna go on this. I have to get a tree to come up out of the top of this. I'm thinking like a large branch. The concept is kind of like, it, since the Easter theme is death is not the end, to do like a dead tree coming out of the top and then doing like bursts of greenery and flowers growing out of the dead tree. Basically like even out of death, life is coming. But last night, Pastor told me that his sermon title will be death is not the end. I was like, see, the Lord told me back in January. That's why I'm that's why I'm on theme. <laughs> he started laughing. But seriously, in January, I felt like that was the direction for Easter, and I went with it. And so here we are. Anyhow, wrap that up. But first, I need to wrap up everything in the sanctuary. We had some major mic issues last night, and I got to try to fix those. We're having dropouts and, like, static and all kinds of crazy things. So basically, I'm going to reset all of the frequencies again because something is not liking another frequency and that's what's causing the dropout so i'm doing the wisest thing that i know to do and that is shutting everything off and down i'm gonna go shut the back off too i'm gonna just let it all like rest again i don't even know if that's a thing but we doing it we're trying anything right now okay so remember when i was making my easter graphics and i was like i want a combination of all the things look at this junk 
Look at this junk. You got the 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 sheep wearing the crown inside the crown of thorns, the sun, the cross, the tomb. Ah, this is my sermon graphic art. Not to a brag or be um not modest. I eat that up. Okay, so we got the stuff on the top. Next, we gotta go find the tree that we're gonna use in the top. And I saw a couple dead ones out by the property line. So we about to walk. Here's a part of NLT you probably never seen before. Here's a part of NLT you probably never seen before. Over here in the fields, the church way back there. Although it don't look like that, it's that far behind me. It is. My love. I want a dead tree because the whole concept is like, that life is coming out of the dead. Ribbit fork? What do you thought he was gonna do? <laughs> All right. Look at that one. <laughs> Jen, please look at him. What is he doing? Look. <laughs> <laughs> no, look. <laughs> Nuts. Nuts. I can't believe you was just jumping on that tree like that. <laughs> That's what we do for content. You're welcome. We're gonna walk till we find a better one. There'll be one somewhere. We just gotta look. I need something just dead enough that it's gonna break easy for me, but strong enough that it won't like break when I put it up. I think it's perfect. We got it. I would literally like cross the top of that, put some more chicken wire, that way you can just shove that in there and like with zip ties secure it. Yeah, that's kind of what I planned on. to get gas for the um, lawnmower? No. No? Okay, so here's where we're at. Oh my God. <laughs> they holler at me when they want some. It's not my request, it's his. And you like him. Awesome. They're gonna have to come too because I wanna go with them. So here we are. I feel like it looks really yeah, good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. I feel like it looks really good. There's still some things gotta add. This is all right. It's all right. We still got a lot to add though. Can we be serious? Well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> Can't Mom. get it off. Can't get it off. <laughs> you seriously here? Well, well, well. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see that. I was too busy blocking out the haters. <laughs> All right, from trust the process to the process worked. It looks so good. Good morning. So Red Bull just came out with the new summer edition flavor. It is Karuba and Elderflower. I just tried it. It's pretty good. Um, you guys gotta try it. Let me know what you think. All right. It is Saturday. Um, today, Jen is going to Paducah with Winter. Basically, she got an Easter dress and it came in, she tried it on, fit great. She was trying it on again and the zipper broke. So she's going there, she's gonna get her eyebrows done. Her and Winter are gonna have a little girl day. She honestly needs it. Jen does not handle uh, stress amazingly well. 
And weeks like this are super stressful just because of everything that's going on, everything that has to be done. I wouldn't say I thrive on stress, but I, I, I'm fine in high stress situations. Jen is not as fine. So she hasn't been home a lot this week, already a kick. The dress thing has really got her stressed out. Um, it's just a lot for her. So I'm, I'm really glad she's going. She don't wanna go because she don't wanna leave the house, but it will be good for her. That means I have the kids all day, which is no big deal. Uh, Avery has an event at the church today. I just picked up like all the supplies that we need for this weekend. I'm headed to the church now to unload those and do a few things. Pretty much everything's ready. The, the main thing that I'm not excited about is our live stream mix. I really want to dial that in. Um, I've streamed the past two nights privately and like listened to the mix and made adjustments as I saw fit. Um, but I just want it to be good. There's going to be a lot of people tuning in. Um, I just want it to sound good. Last night on two of the songs, I felt like they were a little dead um, musically. So I'm going to track some strings today. I feel like that will really give it the warmth. That they're slower songs and I feel like they need, they've got the guts. They need some frill essentially. Um, so I'm going to do that. I still have to go buy flowers. I had an idea of like to make a ball and string a zip tie through it and then just take the zip tie up there and just literally zip tie it onto the tree. Let's go see what we can get done right now. All right, so I made these balls and ran a, ran a zip tie through them. So I'm gonna create the floral arrangements and then I will go attach them to the tree. Okay, so they're not super visible, they're there. I feel like it will have more of an effect if I do tiny ones everywhere. So I'm gonna try just taping baby's breath like on the every branch piece and then just doing a few of those puff things. I don't know, I'm gonna try it. Okay, so here's my thought. I think I'm gonna cover the tree in a ton of tiny mini white puff balls of the flowers to make it look like the tree's blooming. Okay, so I just got distracted because I accidentally deleted a bunch of footage that I shot with Pastor. So I had to reshoot that. But we're back. We gotta figure this out. I'm doing it. I'm just gonna try it. I don't know what to do. I don't know why this is not working for me. I think, I think this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this all over. I'm fed up. I don't like this look either. It's not, it's not giving what I want it to give. The results for how long it takes me to get that, I feel like you barely even see it. If I had to do it all over again, I would have put these branches together before I took them up there. Watch out. Is anybody over here? No. Okay. You just broke it. Now that I took it down, I like it better without. I feel like it looks more nice. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm leaving it out. I'm done. With this flower placement, it is the final. I'm done. I think this turned out so much better than the tree idea. I can see a huge chicken wire right there. So with this placement, ooh, okay, with this piece, with these final pieces, that's how done I am. Okay, 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 let's go down, let's go down, let's go down. Oh, she can't even see it. Okay, I love it. I actually really actually like it. I think the little pops of white made it come to life. The tree gone, I'm not mad. 
I, I think it's better. Here it is in all its glory. Thank God, because I'm done. Right after I said that, no lie, a <laughs> jump just like fell out. <laughs> I'm done. You were a disappointment. But it's a reminder to everyone that not every diet idea is a good idea. Like, you just gotta start somewhere. And then if it's a bad idea, undo it. That's what we learned here, the tree. Here's what you do with a bad idea. You throw it away. And there she can die. Bryce. Out here mowing. We have made it to final rehearsals. And I am done. I do have to fix this. It is a wreck in here. Rehearsals are over and we're cleaning up. We're going home. I'm tired of this. This looks cool. All the cameras ready to go. All the memory cards. I gotta get some more memory cards. We're running low. I was just gonna end the vlog where we left off, but I did not get to edit this week's vlog because of the insane craziness. Um, so it's an Easter special. Um, you guys are gonna get this though. I don't know when you'll get this you'll get this as soon as possible but basically everything crashed this morning ableton's being absolutely ridiculous i i am stressed and overwhelmed and that's where we're at and i want to help you receive power that you can walk above those things that you used to succumb to I'm saying there will come a day if you'll let god do what god wants to do in your life come on you will walk Eight of it, they're gonna die. There's a spiritual death that will result ultimately in a natural death. Okay. Oh my, oh my. Listen. Yup, yup, yup. We went to lunch with my parents, but here's a recap of how Sunday has gone. Trash. <laughs> Church was fine as far as the service, but leading up to the service, everything that could go wrong possibly <laughs> seriously went wrong. Yeah. Like <laughs> like Ableton started like cutting out. Then I restarted my computer because I was like, you know, like let's just do a quick restart. My entire like service file vanished. She gone. Where was it? She gone. Thankfully, Ableton does backup files, and I was able to literally go in and see the backup file of when we did our rehearsal like 30 minutes before that. It still existed, mm -hmm. but the file was gone. I saved it. We went in. We started. Oh, didn't on the first song. Did it, it did it on the second song? Yeah. Or no, the third song. The third song just kind of cut out for a minute. We came. It actually did it like three times. We came back in pretty much all right. The fourth song, it yeah, cut out hard. for a, a moment there. And we got off the click a little bit. Covered. And there's this little run that, da -da 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 and I told the band I just like hopped in the talk back and I was like, hey, don't play this. We're off. When we hear that, it'll get us back on. And thank God it did. And then the verse three had a soloist count in, so it was like three, four, and she came in right on time, and we recovered, stayed in the rest. And then the last song, I don't think it ever cut out. But what the heck? Then, on top of that, it's full of guests. I get it, it's not our normal church service, but it was dry as a turkey on Thanksgiving that your mama done made, <coughs> that your grandmama done made, <coughs> dry. <coughs> and not, like our church people were like trying, but I think it was just like- the, It's always like that It's It's Street. always like that, and I hate it. I love my church. I love the way we have church. Good church, worshiping, acting crazy. I hated it, but to redeem it all, Altar was fantastic and we had fun with that. Now we're going to East. We're going to get Naya and Noah, they're riding with us to East and the kids are with my parents. I'm, I'm just gonna lay it all on the line tonight, have fun. My voice is pretty much gone, but oh well. Okay guys, oh. <laughs> as if this day couldn't get any crazier, we just got stalked, followed on the highway. We were driving. Uh, we're all, all jumping. Okay, so no lie, we were pulling up to the stoplight, and Naya was like, "This lady is is whack. Like she's hissing at us." And I just, I didn't take <laughs> they didn't it. Didn't take me serious. I didn't take her seriously, and I was just like, "Oh, let me wave at her or whatever." And I looked over, and she was looking right at me. So I just, I was like, "Hi," and she started going off. She was just like, and I was like, "Oh, she's saying something." And I rolled down my window. Well, she rolled up her window and when the light turned, she took off. She sped off, whatever, and I was like, oh, she wanted to race. Well, then we're going and all of a sudden she like gets behind us. She starts like 
pulling, like weaving in, trying to like get up behind us. Then we get to the next stoplight and she like stops trying to get next to us at the stoplight. So I stay behind her. I don't pull up to the line. And then when she takes, she takes off really slow and I stay behind her cause I'm like, I'm not getting up beside her. I'm afraid she's gonna like try to ram the car. Anyway, then she started like following us like hardcore, like switching lanes to get behind us. Hazards on. Yeah. She turned her hazards what? on. She was she acting crazy. So I told them to hold on. I was in the far left lane. She got all the way over behind me. I got up to the light and I told them to hold on. And at the last minute, I switched like four lanes and got all the way over and turned right. That was crazy. Listen, Pre I said that that witch <laughs> made me uneasy. No, but for real. And they were like dismissing me. No, I was telling them her. to not look at her. Because Basically, I got the vibe. She had a spirit and she did not like us, which is why she was hissing. I didn't wasn't taking it seriously at first, so I just waved. I think that ticked her off and then she started acting whack. So we had to lose her. But now we're all a little paranoid. She's I'm gonna try to find us again. Terrified. No, like I'm scared. scared. I'm looking. Oh. And then we were in the drive thru and I was like, <laughs> Quit doing that job. I was just telling the vlog what I did, but it worked again. Uh, it is Monday, finally, and this is <laughs> ah! oh. <laughs> the seat's not locked. It just we can't tell. Our faces are puffy. We just woke up. It's like 9.20. Just got out of bed, and we are literally just driving to get coffee. We left the kids with Naya. We got to... Reset our house. Our house was neglected this week. Last two weeks. Because of the craziness. And so that's the only goal for today is really to reset the house. Literally, it's been two weeks because of Bishop's funeral. Yeah, it's just been insane one thing after another. I We have another event to start getting ready for. I ain't doing nothing this week. I may send out the music, but I ain't doing nothing. I ain't doing nothing. I'm exhausted, so recovery mode. Anyway, I'm sorry that this vlog got delayed. When you see all the craziness of the week, hopefully you'll understand. If you don't mind, click the like button. Comment down below something. Comment. The sub will come out. Biscuits and gravy if you want to. And that way I know you watch to the end. I'll be watching my statistics. It drops off right here at the end. If you're a real one, you'll comment biscuits and gravy. And then I'll know you're a real one. Okay, anyway subscribe and then we'll catch you next time say y'all ah! my phone literally just jumped out of the it was literally on camera <laughs> that was why <laughs> catch y'all next time thank you yeah, Seth has decided to take Noah. Noah's motorcycle when he shatters his leg and you and I it's Noah's he's gonna break it he doesn't have a helmet on